Hey guys, it's Bailey. I know I haven't seen YouTube in a very long time. Um, I've just been really busy and kind of in a rough spot, which I'll make a future video about that nonsense. Um, but um, to sum it all up, I'm getting back into barrel racing. I'm done with my little break, whatever I went through. And so I also want to start up my vlogs again. So I decided today... I was going to actually film a video, just hopefully you enjoy it as much as I enjoy being around my ponies and making halfway decent content for you guys. Get it where you can get it, right? Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. And then I will clog back in with you guys in a little bit when I get off and we will go ride some ponies. I just made it to the barn. and came straight from work, obviously, so... I'm going to change real quick and then I think I'm just going to go ahead and take care of Fancy's mane and tail before I ride her. I feel like that's going to be a mistake because she sweats like crazy, but you know what? I'd rather do it now when I have the sun up to uh, so I can see her braids and all that. So yeah, <laughs> let's get to it. So I made the wonderful mistake of packing a white shirt. To wear to the barn which i'm sure we have all made more than once and i've already worn this one to the barn but you can't really tell but it's definitely already stained and dirty hi girls oh i need to get the tweets what am i doing i get the tweets but yeah so i don't know i'm pretty sure i have done a little introduction video of the girls but i think I'm gonna do another one. Yeah, I'm just gonna get the biggest handful of tweets for the babies. Fancy's halter. Oh, there goes a treat. This is going well. I'm trying to carry a camera and a halter and treats all at the same time is not easy. This is little Miss Denali. She already wants a tweet. Um, she is my two-year-old. I've had her since she was about four months old. I started breaking her in May. She is the biggest dog I have. She's literally a puppy, okay? Little Chunky over here. This is Miss Ciroc. Um, She's a yearling. I bought her when she was about six months old, uh, which was last October. Yeah, and so she will getting, be getting broke next um, summer uh, also. Fancy pants. This is my girl. She is a six-year-old, and they are all quarter horses. Go ahead and here's your tweet. Can you all stop stepping on my lead rope? Denali. Okay, she is a six-year-old. Um, I've had her since she was about three. And she is my bestie in the whole world. Hers is cute. <laughs> She's my doll. And they are all of my horses are like dogs, if you can't tell. I also have treats, but they act like this. Hi, Nolly. They, <laughs> they act like this all of the time. So, yeah, that's fun. This awesome. This broke last night. I forgot about that. The screw just came loose and fell, and it was dark, so I couldn't see anything. Well, there goes that. See, we've got the whole fam over here lined up, ready to get to work. Gotta love that. This one gets very jealous because she doesn't really get worked. She gets jealous. Hello, Nolly. I don't have any cookies. If you bite my hand, I'll pop you. Goober, okay. Okay, so as you can tell, well, I guess you can't really tell, but I started braiding the girls' mane differently um, with electrical tape instead of um, the typical, like, banding rubber bands um, because I learned from the Biomane people, like the people that make Biomane, that electrical tape is actually better for their hairs and stuff. If you want a whole tutorial on learning all that, you can either look it up on Biomane or request me to do a video, whatever you want. <laughs> And it took so freaking long, so I'm not going to put you guys through the pain. Even though it probably seemed fast to you. Can you stop that? 
it probably seemed fast to you it took forever for me so I'm going to just go ahead and braid her up off camera and take care of her tail and then um, and then we'll go do some riding Hex yeah Hex yeah Hex yeah okay big badonk donk right here okay I'm gonna go ahead and take care of uh, Miss Fancy Pants's tail. I'm surprised I have the energy. I finally got her entire. I forgot to do her floor lock. Well, that's probably gonna get done in about two seconds, but I'm gonna go ahead and just take care of her tail first. I'm probably about four braids away from absolutely losing my mind, just cutting my hands off. So, good thing I only have two left to do. So, I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all just rush through this though. Praise Jesus from heaven above that I got that done. <laughs> okay, so she's completely braided. Again, if you want the tutorial on how I take care of her main tail and forelock, um, just hit me up on my Instagram, comment um, below on this and on pictures on my Instagram, and I will definitely do it. Okay, now that we're all tacked up, um, I'm going to go ahead and take both of them to the arena and ride Miss Nolly New first. She's only a two-year-old. I'm already having to ride her in spurs just to kind of wake her up a little bit, you know? And then Boss Mare over here is the exact opposite. Um, she is all go and not a lot of woe. Um, so you're going to see kind of two different styles of horses for sure. And Denali's just still kind of doing some basic stuff. So I'll show you guys a little bit of that. And again, if you guys see anything that you want to learn how to do, learn how to teach your two-year-old, or anything that I do fancy is really just going to get warmed up, and we're going to do some work on the actual pattern today. So. Okay, guys, so I just wanted to go ahead and kind of describe what I'm doing as I'm riding Miss Nolly. Um, <clears throat> I always start her out with just trotting her around for at least five to ten minutes, but after I've done that, I like to do very large circles when working her, and I'll stop and do random pivots usually to the outside of the circle and that kind of helps me get her attention a little bit more since she is a young two-year-old she kind of likes to be a little scatterbrained so I like to do this and work this in both directions so you, if I reverse and go the other way I will stop her and also pivot her and move her shoulders over the opposite direction just away from the circle and then I, after, once I start loping her around, usually I'll continue to lope her in a large circle. But in this, I'm doing a drill where I start her in a bigger circle. And I just slowly work my way down. Because it actually does take a lot of muscle for them to lope those real small circles. So you can see she broke gait there a little bit. Broke down to a trot. It's because it, she is really lazy and it's hard for her to do. So I, I just let her stride out a little bit more and then I worked a circle back down I'm just softly closing my outside leg on her to try to keep her going and then once she gives me a good circle I like to release her and let her go back out to her big circle where it's nice and comfortable and easy for her to lope around okay so everything that I do one direction I have to do to the other so I just calmly switch leads with her and start doing the same exercise to the left and her left lead is actually stronger so I usually don't make her do this exercise for as long on this side because she gets it pretty quick but again I just start with bigger circles and work my way in tighter until I feel like she really is giving me the best she can give on that size of circle and then I just let her work back out into her bigger circle where it's easier and more comfortable. And the whole time I'm also talking to her, telling her how good she's doing. And now here I'm doing kind of another exercise to kind of keep her mind working. So I'm still loping around the left lead, but instead of stopping her and turning her to the outside of her circle, I make her pivot into the lead that she was on. And then I leave on the opposite leave, lead when I come out of that pivot. So it makes her really think about which leg I'm using and what direction I want her to go in. And I do a lot of direction changes, especially at the lope. So she really 
learns her leads. I'm such a stickler on my leads. So with her, I'm doing a lot of work with that. Now here, I'm working on her reverse arc. And I'm not asking too much of her. But she does know how to pivot. So she knows how to move her shoulders over. And she knows how to bend her neck back and forth. So those are the two things they have to know in order to do this. So she is learning to counter arc. You can see here she's really crossing over with her front end. Her front legs are crossing over and her head is turned away from the direction that she's going. Okay, so here is Fancy's first run from tonight that I made practicing on the pattern. Is And as you can tell, it's not starting off too great. Um, when I look at it on the video, it looks a lot less worse than it felt under saddle. So it's not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to go or as I thought it was going to look, I guess. But, you know, she can definitely do better than that. So after making that run, I went back through and just trotted her, tried to keep her as calm as I possibly could, which I'm sure most of you know is not easy. But I just wanted to slow her back down, get her to kind of recoup and rethink about what she's supposed to be doing, what her job is. And, of course, she does great when I bring her back down to a trot. And then I go to run her again and slow her down just a little bit and... She has no rate at all. That was worse than the first time. So I try to bring her around it again and just get her to really pay attention to me and give her face to me a little bit more and just slow down. <laughs> Once she gives me a halfway decent turn and is responsive, I'll let her go to the next barrel. And as long as this one's solid like it was, I let her go to the next again. And same thing with this one. If it's solid, I'll let her go to the next. If not... She has to go around it again and again and again until she decides to act right and be a little bit more respons responsive, and then I'll let her go back. Here we go again. Again, with me trying to slow her down a little bit. If you could, you could actually tell that right when she hit her pocket, she actually sped up. So she was just very, very just not ready today at all. Wanted to run. She's already a free runner as it is. So she is just a hot mess. I'm just trying to <laughs> gain control at this point. Here I slowed her down and was like, all right, that third barrel, I remember that third barrel was terrible. So I slowed her down and tried to fix it. Here I'm really trying to just get her to lope to that first barrel to get her to pay attention, which the first barrel went perfect as, well, perfect for her. That's what her normal first barrel looks like. And same for her second. That was pretty good. I was happy with that. And I slowly let her, gain, let her gain speed. And then she ran right past the third barrel. And I was like, dude, ugh. But I ended on this note. So today was interesting. That side of Fancy I haven't seen in a couple months, actually, which is kind of surprising. I expected to see it right when I got back on her after she was injured. Um, she has not had that many issues in practice in a while but I know at the uh, last race we went to she had some big issues at the um, first barrel so it wasn't the same issues that happened today but it was roughly the same um, so she was a little naughty so she got her butt worked off um, our last one our, la our last run so to speak I'll post it um, she just had no rate at all today. She was very, very fresh, wanted to run, 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 which is also weird because I've ridden her, I rode her yesterday pretty good, so it's not like she should be full of energy or anything, but she was, so, uh, yeah, she was a brat. <laughs> so tomorrow, we will probably go back and do a lot of drills um, and a lot of backing. I don't think I've had to pull on her. That hard in a while, my nail is sore. Oh, sounds like a baby thing to say, but whatever. My nail is actually sore from having to like slow down. Like, and I've never had to, like she's one of those horses that if you get hard handed with her, she just pushes more. But so typically like with her, it's a lot of like bumping. It's never like hard pulling, but I had to legit hard pull today. And she just kept like climbing over that bit. And it was ridiculous. She's still boss man. I still love her, but she's a little dumb dumb today. But yeah, I'll post the last run that we did. She had a really good, well, relatively good 
first and second, so I just got off of her after that. I didn't want to argue with her anymore. Whenever you guys have problems, don't beat up on yourself too much. Like today was actually the first like rough day, I'm sorry, we've had in a while. So I'm not gonna let it get us down too much. We do have a race this weekend, so hopefully we can get some a lot of it figured out by this weekend. And if we don't, oh well, we have another one on the uh, November 17th, we have another race. so. We can always just try to get better at that one and everything will get better. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog today. But like I said, I can start. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can start do. Ew. It's usually sweaty. Click the like button if you like the video because Fancy likes the video. So you should definitely go like the video or go ahead and like the video. Um, and subscribe if you want to see more comment if you want to see more so thank you i'll see you guys later